today I'm going to be showing you how I spiced up some of my old t-shirts, especially for back to school because I know back to school shopping can be expensive. I looked in my closet and I realized I had so many shirts that I just had in there that I didn't want to get rid of, but I also knew I wouldn't probably ever wear again. So I just took those shirts and I decided I wanted to spice them up a little bit for back to school. Also make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'll be telling you some exciting announcements and I'll be having a giveaway of a ton of makeup. So make sure you stay tuned and find out how you can enter. But without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. So the first shirt is actually pretty easy. I'm just taking this plain colored tank top that I had and make sure your shirt is wet to start off with. And I'm just using the black dye that I got from a tie dye kit. So I added the amount of water that I needed for the dye and then I poured it into a little tub and I soaked the bottom of my shirt in that tub for about a minute. Then to create the ombre effect, what I'm doing is I'm slowly diluting the dye until it becomes lighter. I just poured out some of that dye and added some more water and soaked it a little bit further. And I just kind of continued this process, but halfway through I hung up my shirt. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just continuing this process and slowly making the dye more and more diluted until I get it the color and the ombre that I like it. After I finished it, I let my shirt stay out there and dry. And then um, once it was completely dry, you can throw it in the washing machine and wear it. This next shirt is so unbelievably easy. I'm just taking this really colorful flannel that I had before, so I wanted to bleach it. So I just made a mixture of half bleach and half water, and I literally just threw it in and soaked it in that bleach for about 15 minutes or so. But you can just keep an eye on it and watch it, and once it gets to the color that you like it, make sure not to leave it in too long or else there might be some holes in it because bleach will start eating away at the fabric. But once you get it the way you like it, you can just take it out, rinse it off and throw it in the washing machine and it's good to wear. And for the next shirt, I'm really happy with the way this one came out. First, I'm starting by taking off the pocket because I want to have more room for the design on the front. So I'm just using one of these stitch removers and I'm just taking out all the little stitches around the pocket. And once the pocket's gone, I'm going on my computer and looking at some cute tumbler designs and I just picked out my favorites. And once I found the one that I liked, I just sized it to the size that I wanted it to be. And you might want to do a few test runs first to make sure that it's the size that you like. And then you're going to want to print it onto a transfer paper. And if your shirt is dark, then make sure it's a dark transfer paper. And if it's light, then a light transfer paper would work fine too. I just printed it out and followed the instructions on what the transfer paper said to do. So I just cut out the design. So I peeled off the top layers and then I am just figuring out out where I want it on my shirt and putting the little paper on top that they gave me and I'm ironing on top of that and I'm just ironing my design to my t-shirt. It takes like a minute and it's on my t-shirt and it's so cute. I love the way this one turned out. I also really like the way this one turned out. I did the same exact thing as I did with the other t-shirt basically. Since I used a light transfer paper on this one, I had to flip the design. Make sure you read the instructions on your transfer paper before you do this or else you'll end up messing up. That's what happened to me. So I had to flip the design and then print it again and I cut it out and did the same exact thing. But this time I had to flip it over on my shirt and iron it down and then peel off the top layer. And as you can see, this is how it came out and I think it came out so cute. I'm obsessed with this shirt too. And for this shirt, I just wanted to decorate the little pocket and I think it came out super cute. So all I did was I took some pink lace that I just had laying around and I wanted to decorate the pocket with that. So I'm first just cutting it about a half an inch around the area of the pocket so I can see kind of the shape of everything. And then I'm just going to fold in each side and using a hot glue gun, glue down that folded side all around each side of the pocket, if that makes sense. And I really like the way it came out. 
So I hope you guys liked that video. It was super fun to make all these t-shirts and lately I've been feeling really inspired with my channel so what I'm going to try to do is post twice a week so once on Tuesday and once on Fridays and every Tuesday will be a tutorial or a DIY or something like that and then on Friday I'll have some other kind of videos. More videos of where I'm talking to the camera or maybe a lookbook or maybe a routine video or an advice video or you know whatever it may be. So I don't want to like just limit my channel to DIYs anymore. So yeah that's just my announcement. I just wanted to tell you guys that um, I'm gonna try to be posting twice a week Tuesdays Fridays I think those are good days but now into the thing that I've been waiting for the giveaway I'm so excited so I have some makeup for you guys a lot of you guys requested not to do just like one main big giveaway I decided to split up the makeup and do three somewhat smaller giveaways but they're still look at how much makeup is in this like it's ridiculous lipsticks um, eyeshadows, blushes, bronzers, um, eyeliners, mascaras, like literally everything. And each of the bags is slightly different. They are just full of NYX products and makeup from when I was in the NYX Face Awards. So since I have three bags, I decided to do three giveaways on each social media. So I'm going to do one giveaway on YouTube, one on Instagram, and one on Twitter. So to enter the YouTube giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and my second channel, which is Jordan's Corner, and I'll have the links to all that in the description down below, so it'll be easy. And then just give this video a thumbs up, and then all you have to do is comment a video you would like to see down below, or a video that you've liked from me. So literally just mention any video that you want, that you want to see, or that you've seen already and you liked, or that you want to see more of, whatever you want to do. just put that down below and you can comment as many times as you want so it's super easy and I will just randomly pick a winner from the comments and then I will message that winner and I will announce the winners on sorry I said the wrong day I mean Tuesday August 11th so about a week from today if you also want to enter my Twitter and Instagram giveaways you can go check that out but if you want clearer instructions on how to enter I'll have all the directions in the description down below for Instagram Twitter and YouTube and I'll also have them on each social media account but thank Thank you guys so much for watching and um yeah good luck on the giveaway and i will tell you who wins in a week um so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you all later bye